Your Excellency, Mrs. Amina Gori Fakim, the President of Republic of Mauritius. Uh, thank you very much for honoring us to be here with us today. And um, honorable ministers uh, and the distinguished guests, thank you very much for all of you uh, to join us uh, to open the th third edition of uh, UNESCO Merck Africa Research Summit. Uh, as you know, this year we are going to focus on two important topics, empowering women and youth in STEM with a specific uh, focus on scientific research and also focusing on very important emergent challenges for Africa is cancer research and vaccine development. So I think these two topics is very important and very critical for our beloved continent Africa. And we are all here under one roof to try, try to address the challenges and find the solution. How can we improve and advance uh, this agenda? I would just also like to uh, tell you that uh, I am very, I very appreciate uh, very much the partnership with the UNESCO and African Union, and of course with the partnership with the President Office uh, of Republic of Mauritius and Ministry of Health of Mauritius. This is a great uh, partnership and uh, it was very uh, important to deliver today's success. So thank you very much again for, for having all of us and uh, uh, being around the clock to bring everything in place on time. Uh, of course, um, the objectives of this uh, year summit we, we, we mentioned, but, but we have also to give you a background why Merck approached UNESCO from the start to have this, uh, this project together. Knowing that Merck Foundation is owned by Merck KGAA, uh, Darmstadt, Germany, which is uh, Merck, as you know, the oldest pharmaceutical and chemical company in the world, established 350 years ago. And Merck Foundation is the first foundation owned by Merck Germany. And we actually celebrating this year all, all over our annual summits and our annual uh, meetings, the launch of Merck Foundation. We are very proud of this foundation because since many, many generations from the start of Merck, we have started a lot of program about corporate social responsibility. It's a part of the DNA of Merck. And this year, Merck decided to uh, bring all these activities under one roof, which is Merck Foundation, which is really a great thing to do because it gives it more coherent and uh, a focused uh, a strategy and implementation plan. So today we also, we, while we are uh, announcing the third edition of uh, UNESCO Merck Africa Research Summit, we also marking the launch of Merck Foundation. Uh, as, you, as you know, uh, today and uh, the summit in general is part of Merck STEM program for girls and youth. And knowing that we are addressing a lot of uh, uh, sustainable development goals, uh, which is, of course, emphasize the role of the scientific research. For example, goal three. Uh, for the, uh, the proposed goal three, which is aimed to ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being, at all ages. And this can be achieved through supporting research and development of vaccines and medicine. Hence, there is a dimension of scientific research we need to emphasize and require to implement it, to be implemented to achieve that goal. And of course, to goal five, which is also the gender equality, uh, when achieving gender equality and empowering all women and girls is a crucial step to have a concrete progress for humanity. And for this reason, it's crucial to join hands and efforts to guarantee equal access to education, to health care, to uh, decent work and representation in political and economic decisions. 
and of course, therefore, projects related to the empowerment of gender and women uh, in science and research, education and career are key aspects to support all the other sustainable development goals. Therefore, we believe that empowering women through education is a very important factor in promoting the economic well-being of Africa. Many literatures have shown that there are strong links between uh, educating women and girls and the positive outcomes of the economic empowerment and social mobility, maternal health, and so on. And of course, it's also believed that women's unemployment is uh, in nation uh, workforce, it's a waste of valuable human capital that has negative impact on economic prosperity and national development. You have to all to remember that equality, uh, equality for women is a progress for all. And with this message uh, around care education and women empowerment should, should be the key of our activities and the center of all our activities. For example, we have in Merck a program called Merck Cancer Access Program, where we do providing fellowship uh, for oncologists from across Africa. And we focus mainly also on empowering uh, um, and providing this fellowship for women if they are available. We focus on women and on youth. So you can be the future of healthcare and the future of cancer care uh, improvement in uh, Africa. We have, for example, um, 50 at, well, as, uh, at the moment, 50 candidates from Uganda, Zambia, Ethiopia, Namibia, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Tanzania, Niger, Chad, Guinea, uh, and all uh, in Gambia and Kenya, and either. Uh, are enrolled already or will be enrolled in this fellowship programs which is being held as one year or two years or three years oncology uh, fellowship programs in Tata Memorial Hospital which I take the opportunity to thank them because they are taking the biggest role to develop and build capacity of cancer care in Africa because you know the lack of oncologists is very very crucial to improve the uh, access to cancer care and of course also we have another uh, program we're doing it doing it with uh, in partnership with the University of Nairobi and this is also the first uh, fellowship for medical oncology held in sub-Saharan Africa. So this is the way how we uh, uh, put the empowering women and youth in the center of every and single program and objective of Merck Foundation and our programs and selecting our partners as well. So um, I also want to uh, tell you today some things will happen today. For example, we will have after uh, the inauguration session, we will have the panel, ministerial panel, like you've seen in the video, where we are going to discuss how uh, we can overcome the challenges and find the solutions to empower women and youth in research and also uh, building capacity of research in Africa and how can uh, be in bar private partner bar partnership we can put this on the national agenda of each government. And after the uh, session, uh, the panel uh, discussion, we will have different educational and medical sessions which are going to uh, be held for our African scientists. Our African scientists with us today has been selected based on their abstracts and we selected out of 500 uh, a successful abstracts, uh, 100 uh, researchers to join us today to be provided with this opportunity to network and benefit from all the educational and scientific session we are providing today. But this is an award by itself, but there is out of them also there will be further awards for the Best African uh, Young Researcher Award, the Best African Woman Researcher Award, and a very special dedicated award this year for Mauritius will be for the Best Mauritian Woman Researcher Award. And this award will be dedicated specifically to honor uh, Her Excellency President of Mauritius being the role model of all the scientists across the world, not only for women, for every scientist across the world that there is a, a fantastic career, a fantastic opportunity. And uh, um, this also to emphasize her programs across Mauritius and Africa and across the globe. So we are dedicating this for the Mauritian, best Mauritian scient scientists, women scientists uh, this year specifically. And uh, of course, uh, uh, after that, uh, we will have to a lot of sessions to network and share information. So I will not 
uh, uh, be long with you because there is a very important speeches after mine. But again, I would like to thank you to, uh, for you to joining our vision and being here with us. And I am sure we will have a very great impact and good impact with this sustainable uh, program and sustainable platform. Thank you very, very much for being here.